Mary Yusuf. Praise the Lord. I, my name is uh, Evelyn Abe. I would like to share the testimony of how my life has changed. When I was still small, I grew as an orphan. My father had died. I grew up with my mother. When I got to 12 years of age, I was abducted by the LRA. I stayed in the bush for nine years in captivity. I had three children while I was there. When I had had my children out there in the bush, I went through many different problems. I was beaten many times and forced to carry heavy loads. I cannot forget one time when I was beaten 300 strokes and I lost consciousness. After two weeks, I came back to consciousness again. After I came back to consciousness, I was not aware of my surroundings. Amongst all the people who had come back from the bush, I had the deepest bitterness and anger. All my anger was directed towards my children. I wanted to kill all my children and stay alone. But one day I beat my oldest child who was 13 and she, he said to me, Mommy, why didn't you just let me die in the village? You should have let me die in the bush with my father. But I started to learn the word of God at Living Hope. I sat down. I thought about it. Then we were taught at Living Hope that the children you have are not an accident. When I heard this, I laid down my child and I asked my child to forgive me. I have done wrong. I did what was wrong in the eyes of God. From now, we will live together in peace. When we started learning at KPC that time, I realized that I still had a lot to do for the Lord. After working with KPC now, Watoto, I started paying my own rent. I started clothing my own children. I feed my own children. I do not beg anymore. And all my relatives now look to me. I thank God for Marilyn sending us a good thing to change our lives. I ask her to not stop. Keep going. There are so many other women who need this help. If I think that they can become like me, then I love her so much. I thank KPC now, Watoto. For changing my life and bringing me to Jesus. I thank God.